Yo, <laughs> welcome to episode 90 of Crash Homies Podcast. Sheesh. 10 more to 100. Bro, don't cut me off. Uh, this Sheesh. Show. Sheesh. 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 <laughs> nah. nah. <laughs> welcome to uh, episode 90 of Crash Homies Podcast. This is your host, Patrick. That's the other nigga over there. Mike. I'm Mike. <laughs> you really said his name. Ah, uh, if I see one more person on Facebook having a conversation with their kid, bro, with a with their kid. Oh no, no, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, we, no, no. Fuck all that. I we we got to We got to uh, tell them where to subscribe for and shit first. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't want to try to forget that. That's mm. a good point. Yeah. Uh, Patreon number one. Yeah. Patreon, y'all got some special stuff coming with the merch that you know you gonna have some advantages over these broke ass niggas, non Patreon niggas. <laughs> um, no dollar having ass nigga. <laughs> my mom won't give me my debit card looking ass nigga. <laughs> yeah. I forgot my pen looking ass nigga. Broke <laughs> ass nigga. Let's split the bill down the middle when you go out with a girl ass nigga. Ooh, wait. Um, but oh, we got our boy Key in the background. Oh yeah, that's too. what you hear right now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but. But anyways, uh, so I like Patreon. Hey, Twitter. Be nah, I love Twitter now. Twitter getting up there. Uh, obviously, YouTube. F- not Facebook. We don't fuck with Facebook. Uh, <laughs> Instagram. We just hit 150K on Instagram. Um, about to hit 700K. God damn. Why did I always hit the wrong button? I got you. About to hit 700K on TikTok. Yeah. Turn up. Turn up, turn right, up. Go back to your, your, your Facebook thing because now we're, oh, yeah. we're, we're dragging this. We're dragging this, dragging this. <laughs> uh, y'all broke niggas, hold on. Uh, <laughs> but for real, so, you know, you know, people put on their Facebook status, the convo. They're like, y'all won't believe the convo I just had with my seven-year-old son. It'd be like, me, where you at, son? Mom, don't worry about it. Like, bitch, that's bad parenting. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? What you mean, don't worry about it? What? <laughs> why is he talking to you like that? I could be dead. <laughs> like, why is this nigga, like, why do he feel the need to talk to you like that? My son, so, or they son be like fucking five years old. This nigga got on a Mary Jeans. Why? <laughs> that nigga rich as hell. No, let that nigga play. <laughs> Tell the- him, oh, don't get your clothes dirty. This nigga is five. It's with the sharp ass part two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's because that's the, the nigga that left him. That's what he looked like. <laughs> <laughs> How you going to dress him like the nigga that left you? He might leave you too, shit. The worst one, I don't like seeing kids in like Bur- Burberry shirts. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the baby shower shirts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that become the baby shower shirt? Niggas kept wearing it to baby showers. That's my guess. <laughs> so just a, just a guess. Um, I saw Larsa Pippen. Yeah. <laughs> Scotty Pippen's ex wife, Marcus Jordan, son of Michael Jordan's current girlfriend. Damn, mm. yeah, crazy, ain't it? <laughs> Six rings. <laughs> 12 now. <laughs> hey, she got the most championships yeah. ever. She got more than Bill Russell. Yeah. <laughs> God, did she the go? But she said when she was married to Scotty for 23 years, they used to have sex four times a night. A night? Yeah, she like, she never got no break. How do you do that? She didn't get, I mean, she was going back to back, no load management. <laughs> she three peated this Maybe shit. Maybe a little load management. <laughs> How many Viagras y'all think he took? Scotty? Scotty might have been active then, though. <laughs> That's an insane I'm statement. Like he, was, he, he was an athlete. Well, yeah, yeah. So he might have been active. Yeah, that Chester Cheeto looking ass nigga might have been fucking. <laughs> he might have been fucking. <laughs> he might have definitely been fucking. That nigga like, just, I ain't never, like, I seen some big noses. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga's snout is ridiculous. But uh, <laughs> some people are saying, like, that is, is her dating Jordan's son, like, a, a sense of grooming? Because... I guess she's 39, he's 30, like No, I don't 34. think she's 39. She said she was married to Scotty for 23 years. Oh, not 39, 49, sorry. 49, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about <laughs> to say my, like, my bad, my damn, bad. Damn, damn. Another Carl Malone in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> damn, Carl. <Kyle. laughs> but, yeah, she was 49, he's 34. So, there's like, oh, she saw him when he was a kid and shit like that. I know, that's kind of wild. Like ooh, like a real little kid. I don't know though because she's forty nine. He's she like thirty. Have to be she's, around. She's like thirty four. So like, what time? How old is he? Like thirty four. Oh, he thirty four. They was married. When were they for, married? For twenty three years. I don't know, but I'm just right, subtracting that. Let's say he was eleven. Okay, let's say the first year. So she's forty nine minus twenty three, about twenty six, and they have a what's that? A thirteen year gap between each other. Yeah. So twenty six. Oh, oh, I got the math. The math's probably wrong. No, I got it. 
What? She freaky as hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the math is. He was like 13. She's a freak. So yeah, he wasn't 18 when she probably saw it was around him. Right. She probably like that young nigga right there. <laughs> That's just crazy, bro. It's she just probably like- wanted a nigga that couldn't make a left hand layup. <laughs> She like I'm tired of these hoopers. <laughs> Let me get a nigga that didn't make it. Yeah, and now her son is isn't is her son still in the Lakers? Yeah, I mean I think G, you know, G League team. Yep. yep. Oh, so you don't even see Malik Beasley like that. Oh, I forgot about the Malik Beasley thing yeah. too. He was cheating on his wife with Larsa. Yeah, she Larsa. That's she's still relevant. Obviously, she's relevant for the Pippen thing, but ain't she relevant for something else? Ain't she, she somebody think, best friend? I don't know. I think she got a one of the Kardashians' best friend. I, I think she I like thought, Cameron she was on best friend. I thought she was on one of those shows like. Um, <laughs> House uh, Housewives of L.A. or some shit, or Basketball Wives? Probably, but I feel like she's one of the Kardashians' best friends, though. You think so? Something like that. I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. So there's this thing about uh, St. Patrick's Day, um, and I don't know, just hear what this guy got to say. This is gonna ruin it for a lot of people that love St. Patrick's Day. First of all, it has nothing to do with Irish pride. That's how it was shown later. There's nothing to do with leprechauns or Irish pride. Has nothing you to do with You just killed two great uh, fantasies. I right know. There. Really, if you look into what that was, is that St. Patrick, right? The St. Patrick was a uh, Roman. His father was a Roman official. And he was tasked, just like the Roman Empire did with cleansing, the, destroying the Gnostic people who originally were the Egyptians and burning the Library of Alexandria. He was tasked with going to Ireland and the, the UK and Scotland area, but we specifically think of it as Ireland because that was the the core of this, right. where they went there and they were supposed to eradicate the last group on the planet that was still studying was that ancient old religion were, who were known as the serpents. So if you look at the story of St. Patrick, he was ridding the serpents, the snakes, right? The snakes from Ireland. But if you look all throughout geologic history of that region, there's never been snakes that lived there. So basically... It's a metaphor. Huh. It's a metaphor. So basically, That's how it was shown they say later. that he went there <laughs> to kill the people there in Ireland, and this holiday is celebrated for St. Patrick. Just a bunch of shit. <laughs> you know what somebody... It's just like when we found out Columbus was not really yeah. all that. You know when you listening to some shit that you know you... is. You gonna forget right after the conversation? Yeah. <laughs> Just let a nigga keep talking. Like, oh shit, St. Patrick, really? Like, nigga, did the Lakers win today or not? <laughs> Are we trying to see how does this? Anytime a nigga talk like that, you know what I want to ask him? What? How does this affect LeBron's legacy? Because that's all that I worried about. <laughs> we trying to get five, yeah. bitch. <laughs> but no, because I was surprised because this past weekend was um at the actual St. Patrick's Day, and I didn't know that because I was like, what the hell were everybody doing? All these other weeks, like the celebration and shit like that. Yeah. I feel like the whole month of March is just St. Patrick's Day. Everybody celebrate every weekend. They be dragging that shit. It's, it's a reason to drink. Yeah, it is. Especially especially where we at. That's what people be looking for. They drink at anything. Holiday sales. Funerals. <laughs> weddings. <laughs> nigga die we drinking. Right. Nigga Damn. born we drinking. Yeah. Nigga paralyzed we drinking because he made it. Nigga been dead. Well, at least half of them. Nigga been dead uh, for a year. They poured on the <laughs> on their grave. I know. Imagine. Don't pour no liquor yeah, on my don't grave. Don't pour no shit on I'm good, bro. Bro, I come in like zombie attack your ass. First guy get the, the homies drink. <laughs> right. You got my shit smell like 40 and shit. <laughs> this nigga just drop 18. On me, what's the fuck? <laughs> oh, what? what At least get some iced tea with this shit. Come on. <laughs> no chaser. No, no they, right. be, they do be wasting drinks and shit. Yeah, you know the most entertaining thing I've been seeing these days was uh John Morant's um oh, old Instagram. Yeah, I seen this old Instagram. That was, shit is like a meme page. He now. was thugging. Yeah, <laughs> you know I think uh, obviously the reason why I pop back up because everybody's initial thought anytime you see somebody acting crazy like that mm. is to like. Disprove them of like if they that gangster or not. So yeah. they went back and they were trying to and they found out like he was always he, he, yeah, was, he was always like this. He was that was always his thing. <laughs> he was shooting Thugging that him. bitch, real shooter. <laughs> <laughs> it's always crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like I always think back to like the Gronk, not the Gronkowski, the Aaron Hernandez thing. Mm-hmm. It's just like how many niggas he said I'm gonna kill you. Because I can tell you how many niggas I say I'm gonna kill them, but yeah. like did I ever have the intentions of killing them? Yeah, no, maybe one, but. <laughs> That nigga is like, you never know who you messing with. I man. know, especially yeah, <laughs> him saying that that was a funny meme too, and he really did tell dude he was gonna kill him. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's insane, man. Could have been next. <laughs> Could have been you. Could have been. That's that's the thing I will always be thinking about is like the shit that I avoided. Like, bro, I probably avoided getting killed by fucking Aaron Hernandez or even being involved in something with him. Yeah.
Because who did he actually kill again? Himself. Um, <laughs> no, no, before that. Uh, Greg Lloyd. Yeah, it was like a semi a semi pro football player. Yeah. But who was he? Who was Greg Lloyd related to again? Or was nobody? Was he like his sister's? Yeah, it was like his In-laws? baby mom's best friend or some shit. Oh yeah, baby mom's best friend. That shit crazy. And then they, he was like, he got accused of killing somebody else, but they yeah, never proved another, that one. Yeah, like after a club or some shit. That's yeah, a crazy. It was dangerous, bro. Aaron Hernandez story has to be the craziest story yeah. still. Um, you know, teachers, you know. A lot of teachers don't have money. You know, they make, you know, 42 to 50 grand and they're working year round and they want to throw, you know, they throw a pizza party for they for their class. Mm-hmm. And everybody get one slice. Everybody, oh, applaud that teacher, teacher for spending their own money. Like, bro, if you broke, like, why would you even bring us one slice? Oh, what though? Save your money. Save your money. You, now you bringing me one slice and I want more and you saying we ain't got it. Like, <laughs> and these bitches ain't real slices. No, nah, like, you got you, you got you to respect a slice of pizza. That's all we well, got during they lunch. They used to take one pizza and then strip, like, put it into thirds. I think oh, you could have kept that shit. <laughs> For real. Nah. What you showing out for? You just trying to, you want some sympathy around this bitch? The worst thing, <laughs> the worst yeah. thing is getting the mixed pack of Get another uh, job. <laughs> Bro. No, dead ass. Nah, how they going to get another job? Bartend or something. Nah, that's crazy. Tell the teacher. I think their wage is about to get raised. It, they, teachers and police officers need to make the most money. Yeah, for sure. Because definitely cops, because they got some dumb motherfuckers around <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> and they need some like... Like, cops need, like, extra education. Like, I feel yeah. like they, after they get, like, uh, graduate the police academy, I feel like they should have to do, like, two years of, like, some, like... A shadowing or some Bro, because some of these niggas are not, like, socially gifted. Like, <laughs> they don't know how to de-escalate a situation. Yeah. It just be smooth. Yeah, how many times, like, it's an 11-year-old that stole from the fucking corner store and you got your gun drawn. Like, this nigga is stupid. <laughs> That's like, serious? Like, he, he don't deserve a gun at all, whatsoever. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Get pay them. I wouldn't mind paying them six figures as long as they because they put their life on the line. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because there'd be some niggas out here that's some yeah, that's some cop killers. Yeah. Hey, you signed up for it, but <laughs> tight, tight, but <laughs> but I, you know, I would definitely vouch for them getting paid six figures if they take some extra schooling on like yeah, yeah just like an extra degree to, yeah, to like, become a cop. Like some some like some type of uh some law classes, you know. <laughs> All of them do take law classes. Man, no, 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 what the fuck? How many times <laughs> you seen a cop and he like, oh, do this, do that, and then some dude outsmart him and be like, Well, according to the law, I don't. Like how many times that shit gotta no, happen? Th- like, some dudes they be doing that shit too. They be having like the dictionary pulled up and yeah, shit. They be having they they say uh, they start Googling that shit right before he uh, hey, kept the car. Hey, <laughs> hey, my advice. That shit don't always work for every color, my nigga. Don't be looking at them videos on TikTok when you be like, technically, if I'm not detained, I can walk away. Like that, that don't apply Man, to you. Not walk. That don't apply to you, yeah. Jamal. Oh, Yo ass gonna get shot down. Uh, I'm telling you. Be target practice if you want. Not walking away. Think he just gonna walk like walk away to where? Yeah, walk away. That, nope. Am I detained? Am I doing something illegal? Not like he's definitely white. He's saying that shit. <laughs> what? Soon as you say detained, you gonna be detained by the heaven gates. <laughs> Your ass gonna be <laughs> send that nigga to the Lord himself. I'm telling or, you. or some other place. I think we no. I think sometimes that's, we say we're gonna send that nigga to heaven or some shit. Like that that's, is true. We can't just always assume. I mean, why is we in this like exactly. dispute right now? <laughs> you must have done some this shit. Don't sound like a, this don't sound like a heavenly dispute right now. Oh God! <laughs> Literally, send that nigga down <laughs> to the fiery pits. It's always funny, right? The, with your uncle. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like in those movies, you'd be like, "See you in hell," like, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck, <laughs> hey, nigga? You go first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I do not plan on it. <laughs> Nah, that's crazy though. I wonder, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of people wonder like what's gonna happen and shit like that. You know, somebody wrong around this bitch though. <laughs> I mean, all these religions, yeah. <laughs> somebody ain't getting in. Yeah. It's a big ass group of people not getting in. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a group. Like imagine getting to heaven, everybody like, it's a lie. I'm like, fuck. I should have <laughs> should have picked Muslim. <laughs> Jews. You talking to the other Christians in the back, you like, bruh, they was right. <laughs> Chill. 
<laughs> they don't look too good. Oh shit, Father John, they just shit my nigga down. <laughs> it ain't looking too good, but he could have did something else though. So. Oh man, you know them priests and shit. You heard of the? Uh, oh no, go ahead. speaking of priests, the Pope trying to like pass something to like make sure like priests don't like not have to have sex. What? Yeah, don't right. not have like they don't have to be so they can have sex. Yeah, again? they don't have to be celibate. So they can just pass a, no, a new law? I guess. What priests are celibate, though? Are they actually celibate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can't do nothing, bro. Why would you want to be a priest? The Pope. Oh, the Pope. Yeah. The priest can't either. I think Damn. the priest can. No, once you become a priest, that shit over with. No, no, no. The nah, a- only thing you you can fuck is the holy water. That's it. <laughs> so the priest is over the Pope or the Pope over the priest? The Pope, no, the Pope over, over everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except oh. me. I slapped that nigga. <laughs> His ass going... Hey, you know what a nigga Bro, I wonder like how close you can get to the, the Pope before they, before they like stomp you the fuck out. But look at the niggas he be around. <laughs> oh, well, you should be protected by God. You got 10 niggas with you. I'm saying, but he usually around like uh, older other niggas. I will beat the shit out of niggas. So some real shit. Now, the Pope having security is kind of crazy. No, they definitely be having security when he moved through crowds, though. Yeah, but like he was saying, like, <laughs> you're supposed to rely on God for that. Oh, yeah, but the thing, one thing about the. The Pope is what I can't handle is a nigga being over me, but not by law. Like, I don't know if I'd be able to take that. <laughs> like, this nigga ain't no celebrity or something. Like, this nigga ain't little baby. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, yeah. You picking the, you little, little baby over the Pope? They talking right, about move. move. They talking about move. The Pope coming through. Like, what oh, this nigga think he is? Drake? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh man, that <laughs> nigga think he's uh, God's very own nigga. October's very own. Watch out, nigga. <laughs> OVO, XO. <laughs> hey, you heard about uh, Brandon Miller from Alabama? Brandon Miller, no. So basically, he had he was under investigation. He never got um, charged or anything like that. But long story short, he and another teammate he dropped another teammate off out, off a dro- gun. No, he dropped them off at a party, uh-huh. left, and then was on his way back to pick them up. And then his teammate killed like his ex girlfriend. Oh, like, I think I heard about real that, tragic yeah. story. The day at like it was like a couple days after, like he's still under investigation. You know his Twitter mentions probably going crazy. Um, you know people hate him. People like you know when people run with the story and shit like that. <laughs> mm-hmm. So people you know call him a murderer and shit like that. And he dropped like forty one, bro. Oh, they they let him play. Yeah, with a pending case, he never did anything. All he did was drop him. Oh yeah, off. he was. Yeah, he, he dropped. He was him. on his way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had already happened. Uh-huh. So it was the rumor was it was like his gun that wasn't his gun and yeah. shit like that, or he didn't bring him a gun. I think anything. he was like bringing actually his gun back. So I was looking at the NBA. The NBA uh, report came out of him a scout report, and it was like GMs are really like really love him because how he performed like his own case for a murder. Like imagine that under pressure. Yeah. Oh, that that's the that type is of a lot of pressure, though. That is a lot of pressure to play under. You're facing life. You could be facing life. Right. You don't know, like, what's going on. Yeah, like, you might be an accessory to murder. Yeah. You're indirectly. He is. got in trouble for, um, you know, when they come out, like, they get announced in the starting lineup. He got in trouble for getting patted down. Like, his celebration get patted down. It's like No he way. Like, he didn't do that. That's hard. Yeah, he nah, did. Nah, he did that. He said that's hard. That's hard. <laughs> that's hard as fuck. Well. Nah, the nah victim, he didn't do the that, The victim bro. family was mad as hell. They were for real? Yeah, that was sick. I would have been sick, too. Yeah, I would have came to that nigga game. <laughs> Soon as he shot, I shoot. Nah, but he, like all jokes. Well, I was about to make a, a joke, but not really a joke. But I like, know. It's tough. <laughs> but no, but I'm just saying, just like imagine you just dropping a, some, a gun off at somebody. Like somebody that might is like, you let me borrow your gun. He didn't, I, drop, a, he didn't drop a gun off. He, he gave him his gun back. I think that was the story. Oh, I, I don't know if you're right. I think he was never there. This is where you need Max. <laughs> you need a computer <laughs> Man y'all know Max missing Max put PTO in already man <laughs> This dude took a vacation Like two weeks in work. I just realized this shit And everybody kept telling us That uh, he said It was the Mor- He said the Mormons right He said the monks But it was really the Mormons That did the soaking thing The so Oh just put it in Yeah 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 Just put it in And don't move Yeah That's insane <laughs> Um. Oh Another rumor So Andrew Wiggins hasn't played since the middle of the season, right? Yeah, I just saw him trending, and I, yeah. I couldn't see why. So, the media start making rumors, still don't know if it's confirmed or not, that his kid, or maybe two, maybe both of them, uh, are not his. They are his best friends, and he just found that out. 
And mm-hmm. he's been out due to personal reasons. One thing I will say about that, I don't know if that's true. And I would, like, lean on the side that it's not. Because whoever is in his camp, you know, when people have a really, really tight circle, the media hate that shit. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this is, like, a media tactic to be like, all right, since you don't want to tell us what's really going on, we're going to spread this rumor. And it's almost like it forces you to, like, come out of the did he Did he say anything? No, he still hasn't said anything. He never said anything when he left either. Damn. So you never even gone. say, hey, that's not true? You think somebody would want to say that's not true right away, though? Nah. Why not? I, I mean, I've never seen Andrew Wiggins tweet before. I feel like that's the only way. Like, I feel like the only way athletes defend themselves is either Twitter or it's like an a Instagram story. Mm-hmm. And I've never seen Andrew Wiggins do both. I do either. Yeah, I don't know. The thing about hate when people even get accused of anything or there's a story and then you have, like, your lawyers and shit saying, oh, don't say nothing. If I didn't do something, like, or something wasn't true, I'm speaking out right away. <laughs> the only thing I that, can't let that shit slide. The only thing that sucks is, like, it involves a family member. Yeah. And if that's not true, that's fucked up. Mm-hmm. Even, like, as we grow, like, someone mm-hmm. was to spread a rumor about us, we'd be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. But to, like, spread a rumor about a family member, like, that, if, like, Davis or something plays the trumpet while he's in the hot tub or some <laughs> shit, <it's> like, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. That'd be insane. <laughs> Shout out to Davis, man. <laughs> I was like, who the fuck is Davis? I know. <laughs> no. My new rule is to be a motivational speaker, you have to at least. Co- I don't care, bro. You got to come from the mud. Fuck that shit. I'm yeah. tired of listening. I just listened to fucking Gary V the other day and I found out that he grew up on a wine farm. <laughs> what the, the fuck, fuck you? Why are you a motivational? Tell me about wine. Right. <laughs> tell me about wine. Exactly. Tell me some shit you know. Don't tell me to fucking get up and get out and go get nah, it. Th- Bitch, and you <laughs> had fucking 100000 in your bank account before you turned 18. We not the same. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> He's beefing with Gary V. Man, fuck Gary V. Nah, fuck Gary. <laughs> I think with Gary V, the thing that is that, that makes me laugh with him is just uh, the type of advice he gives. Because I think at first it was like, you know, he's like, for social media especially, like, post every day. You know, he's like, post every day, get up, create content, document this and that. And then he's been saying the same thing for a lot of years now. And people keep, the thing about, Gary, the thing that sucks about Gary Vee now is that he's so popular and so influential that sometimes when he comes out with some shit to say, like, hey, start, stop posting vertical videos, go back to landscape videos. If he says some shit like that, yeah. there's so many people that would listen to him that it would technically change, like, the algorithm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, almost everything he say is going to be, like, somewhat true. He got so yeah, much he's been, he's, He was early in a lot of, like, the social media shit and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's getting these motivational speakers are getting out of hand. Sick of them niggas, bro. Tony Robbins is one that, like, how many times can you sell a $10,000 seat for him? If I need, if, <clears throat> if I have to pay $10,000 for a dude to motivate me, then <laughs> first. First, first thing me tell you, first thing you're gonna do is quit your job. Your job doesn't respect you. <laughs> then find your local Goodwill, find three pair of shoes that are actually worth nine hundred dollars. You take that thirty dollars you pay for the shoe. That's thirty. That's eight hundred and seventy dollars. Now you got eight hundred seventy dollars. Now start your LLC. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just listen to you. You're yeah. gonna do all of that. Hey, once now, you got your LLC, now you got two dollars left. <laughs> Go buy you a McDouble because you just fucked yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like the fuck. For the fuck my stomach up too right. <laughs> Like that shit trash And the other thing is I'll save it for the next clip No, <laughs> no we got listener callers now No I got one more thing to say No we got listener callers now No nah, no nah, fuck the listeners <laughs> Alright two listener callers ago no, right, peace. <laughs> What's good what's good What's the deal Welcome to Crash Army's podcast Oh Oh my god I, I didn't know I was gonna be on here <laughs> Don't be shy now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what was the craziest thing you ever did for money? Uh, I fixed a mask for a McDonald's meal in a leprechaun costume. What? <laughs> I took some ass for some McDonald's. No, 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 nigga. I heard you. <laughs> I was just trying to process the shit. Why? Like, okay. Right, let's, yeah, let's, let's, Who let's, asked let's... you to shake your ass for the for just a meal? Who asked you to do that? Okay, listen, hear me out. No. I didn't. <laughs> you know you can say no to that shit when niggas say hear me out? No. No, go ahead, though. Nobody told me to do it. I, I did it because I thought it was going to be funny. Why'd you have a leprechaun outfit on? 
Oh, I like to dress up for holidays. So I dress up as a leprechaun, a black, slightly taller. You're black? <laughs> yeah, I'm black. Fuck, man. All right. Who, <laughs> wait, okay, did who, you get a meal? Who gave you the money? Who gave you the meal? This random lady in the parking what lot. What color was she? She was black. Mm. Okay, okay. So how do you feel about yourself? <laughs> I feel like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you do it? Did you have like a sign that says twerking from, uh, for food? No, I was at the McDonald's with my friends. Did she think you were begging? No, because I was in the McDonald's with my friends, and my friend was like, you, you look like Ice Spice. So I stood up, bent over, and put my hat on my butt. <laughs> no, that laugh is insane. Uh, um, are you okay, nigga? <laughs> yeah, I'm 100 percent, man. Well, what's the craziest thing that ever happened to you, bro? It sounds like you have some crazy shit that happened. Oh, the craziest thing that ever happened to me? Yeah, that's what I said. Um, oh, I was I was part of a robbery on accident. <laughs> you part of a what? A robbery on accident. How, you, how, nigga, how? Oh, okay, so there was this one guy. Why are you whispering? I have a metro... <laughs> I'm not whispering, I just talk like this. All right, go ahead. I have a metro PC next, next to my house, right? And yeah. this guy, he has a ski mask and surgical gloves on. So I knew he was trouble. But I still followed him because I thought it was funny. I follow him. He breaks into the metro PCS with a rock, smashing it, the windows in. And then he says, hey, watch out for me. If the police come, let me know. I was like, okay. I just sat there. And then he went through the metro PCS. He was th- grabbing phones, throwing them out the window. And then I was just sitting there picking the stuff up. But then I realized I could go to jail. <laughs> So I put the stuff and I pretended I didn't know him. But then I turned my head and there's a camera looking dead at me. And I make eye contact with the camera. So I just sit there looking at the camera. The police come. I I wanted to run, but why would I would look guilty? I'm black. I'll get shot on the spot. The police comes and interviews me. And I'm like, yeah, there's just some crazy guy. He went into the store. The guy disappeared. He wasn't in the store. The police went through. So I was just there by myself with all the stuff around me. It looked like I robbed the store. Yeah, this nigga's schizophrenic. <laughs> he he might have been only you there. It's only you, nigga. <laughs> Your alter ego riding it, your other part. <laughs> this nigga. It's like an episode of you. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not schizophrenic, I swear. I think I'm not. I mean. <laughs> you think you're not? Yeah. There's just some this kind of mental health problem. Like, I had a full afro, but one time I just decided to cut all my hair off. Why you cut all your hair off? Because it was a mental breakdown. Damn. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, bro. It, it was no, 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 no. It wasn't anything bad. I just didn't want to have the hair no more. You just said a mental I got breakdown. It wasn't anything bad. <laughs> this you just had this shit for fun? I got bullied relentlessly, though, so I can't, I can't really do nothing about it. Nigga, when's the good part of the story? Like, what's, what's the triumph? Where are you on your way to now? What's positive in your life? Oh, that's a good question. You still alive, oh, right? Man. You alive? You, you well? Nah, I'm dead. I'm, I'm dead, Pat. Hey, man. Oh. Don't make this awkward. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're on doing? No, I'm still alive. Yeah, that's I'm right. That's what alive. I'm saying. Hey, man, shout out to you. What's your name, man? Shout out to... No, don't actually say your name. But, hey, glad you're here. We glad you're here. Uh, hope you're hearing this on Wednesday right now. Hope you're having a good day, man. Life's going to get better. Trust me. Thank you, bro. Yeah, in front of looks Yo. at it, <laughs> shit can't get no worse. 
Say up, my nigga. That's why I love talking to niggas that's on the bottom. <laughs> Cause any motivation get them, they gonna relate it back to you. <laughs> but nigga, the only thing that can happen was you go up. <laughs> yo, yo, welcome to Crash Jimmy's podcast. Hey Pat. Damn, yo, why your camera off? You scary as hell. Who's scary? Think I'm on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on that trip? Oh no, y'all niggas just laugh. <laughs> it depends on you, you in the back of the bus or the front. Hey, I'm, I'm, hey. I'm at the back, but mm, mm, I don't really mm, give a fuck to be at the front. Damn, hey, what? I know what uh, Rosa fought for, but hey, it's more comfortable back there. I feel it. I feel it. Where though. you from? I'm from Cleveland. Cleveland. Holy Cleveland. shit. Cleveland. Damn. Brian left y'all niggas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the worst thing you've ever asked asked your parents? What's the worst thing I ever asked my parents? Yeah. You could take your time to think about it if you don't have if you have an answer. Ooh, shit. Um, or even t- or told them. Weed. You said what? That's about it, though. Ask t- my mom if she know anybody mobile or like she can send me the weed. Yo, that was like a few minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm on my way there right now. <laughs> your, mom told you, your mom told you who the plug was? Man, my mom told her is the plug. Like, let's be real here. I'm shit. The weed that good? You catching the bus to it? Hell yeah. What? She get it from the dispensary. I'm about to live life. Just, man, let me get home, bro. I'm about to roll up. And I'm about to get me some snacks, too. I told I'm you, I always say it's like moments where I know, like, my life would turn around. On the bus, on the way to get some weed, is that where I fight? <laughs> yeah, I should probably go to college. <laughs> wow. Let me go to college. If I got to pull the string and the bus stop, I'd be like, yeah, I'm about to go cop an eight. I'll be right back. <laughs> Do you gotta wait a whole yeah. hour before the next bus? <laughs> no, first of all, my bus comes every ten to fifteen minutes though. <laughs> she said my bus like yeah. eighty other niggas on there, <laughs> <laughs> and you in the back. <laughs> Nigga, that's everybody bus. <laughs> yeah. Man, I have somebody kid back here with me. They had this new day seat and all of that. Actually, actually, they tired of me talking. Oh, they tired of you talking? They gotta be or something. That's okay. Oh, put me on speaker. <laughs> I'll put you on speaker. Put me on speaker. <laughs> Are you on speaker? She got a bomb. <laughs> Get her kicked off that bitch. Hey, see you in ten oh to fifteen. Gosh. Welcome to Crash Jimmy's podcast. What's good? Yo, what's up, guys? What up with it? Not much. What's up with y'all? None of my, you got a little, little accent. Where are you from? Canada. I was just on your live. Where are you really from? Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we laughing? Because he said he went. No, it's just because you asked him where you're really from. <laughs> no, you. Uh, first of all, I gotta check you. Stop sending eggplant emojis. Okay, bro. I just want to get your attention. No, why is that? Insane. No, why is that the way to get our attention? No, that's insane. That's kind of insane. Well, guess what? I'm on the podcast now, so. <laughs> I guess it works. So I know. I guess it works. We got... <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we might have to hang up on this. Thing. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's it? That boy voice got high as hell. Um, what's the? What question we got? Oh, I got a question for you. Go ahead. All right. All right. Would you rather? Would you rather be caught liking your ex's Instagram pics or your partner's ex Instagram pics? Oh shit! Uh, honestly, get caught with my liking my ex's pics because mm. I still miss her. Damn, you miss her? What did you? How yeah. you lose her? Yeah. Long story. We got time. <laughs> we got time. We gonna support you all the way through. She basically. Um, led me on, and then she ended up ditching me for another guy. How she lead you on? Um, we used to work together, and so we used to hang out after work all the time. And then shortly after, um, she told me that she loved me and everything like that. <laughs> and um, I was planning to leave for the army, and she was like, "No, I need you to stay. I don't want to. I don't want to be without you." Yeah. And you miss this girl? 
Yeah. <laughs> so Wait. she stopped you from going to the army? Yeah. Have you, you saved your life? Wait, you still ain't go yet? <laughs> No, nah, I ain't go. Oh, she sound like a Russian spy. She stopped, she, <laughs> she stopped you from going to the army, then stopped talking to you. She won. Hey, that's a Russian spy. <laughs> One last Wait, person oh, on me. You from Canada. Y'all ain't got no wars over there. You good. <laughs> nah, they be fighting with us. True. No, they that's don't. True. Yes, they do. You're an idiot, bro. Okay. Canadians, North America, they do be fighting with Americans. No, they don't, bro. Oh, my gosh. When we you, not, we, bro, when the last time we've been in a war with Canada? Not with, not fighting Canada. I'm just saying there some of their people that oh, are in the army. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That can happen to anybody, any country. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, you, that you're an ally with. I think my, grand, my granddad was in the, the British Army for a little bit. <laughs> 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 no, that's crazy, though. So, what, so she led you on. She left you. And then, is there any contact after that? No. Nah. And then she took all my friends that we used to hang out with at work, and now I got no one. Oh, so they left you too? Damn, yeah. How your people they at did. work leave you? Damn. Well, so, yo, basically there's a sexual assault allegation against me, even though I didn't do shit. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Yo, why y'all go quiet? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Yeah. With that information. You going through it, bro? Yeah, I ain't know he was on phone. Yeah, with, yeah I ain't know he was on phone with a predator. But uh, no. yo, I'm not. I'm sorry. <laughs> that nigga guilty. I'm looking at your haircut. You did that shit. <laughs> no, it's not. No, yo, 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 yo. Nah, nah, nah just playing, bro. Hey, guilty until proven innocent, right? For real. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, I would say I hope you beat your case, but I hope they find out the truth, though. Say you. It's not me. <laughs> it's not, it's not, who is it? Another Filipino? <laughs> yeah. No, yo, for, yo, I got a quick would you rather. Go ahead, man. Actually, actually, it's not really a would you rather. I don't know if y'all answer this on the podcast, but would you rather have a gay son or a saw dog? Oh, my God. Hang up on this nigga, Watch bro. Out. No, 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 please. Hang up on this nigga. Watch Ooh. out for I call Scott Hanson, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god what's the craziest thing you ever did for money uh i guess you could say like sleeping with people for, for money i wouldn't say people now but i have one significant partner um that pays me he's ready to sleep um, with him? <laughs> right now no 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 <laughs> uh he's not around right now um i actually haven't talked to him today but um yeah, I got into a pretty bad accident last year, and I didn't have insurance, so I was kind of screwed. And I lost my job. I lost a lot. Um, and he was feeling quite generous. Um, originally, I think uh, the first payment was like $1,000. Now he's buying me a car. Wow. Um, I'm about to move into a nice apartment that he's paying for. So he's a sugar daddy? He is. How old is he? He is 54. I know he's older than my dad. Damn. Hmm. You ain't seen him in a minute. You better check on that nigga. He'd be dead. Um, how did this? So, so he just paying for anything? Do you ask, or does he just like you talking? Like, oh yeah, I ain't got no real place to stay I'll, right now. And then he come and fix it, or are you asking? I'll hint at stuff. So I'll be like, oh baby, you know, like this new hairstyle, like this thing just came out, and da 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 da. Um, I'll do that, or I'll be like, oh, you know, like, I don't like my apartment anymore. I don't like this area. Um, and then he'll be like, okay, well, I'll see what I can do for you. What are Usually you, I'll, what are you doing I'll, for him? She just said it. Everything. <laughs> he says I provide him peace of mind and comfort, whatever that means for him. Man. I haven't really dealt. <laughs> Sound like a nigga horny to me. Um, <laughs> she just said she slept, she sleeps with him for me. Oh, I didn't hear that part. Yeah, I mean, we do the work. You name it. Oh, that's that's hey. You just, so, what, so, you so, so where do you see where do you see this going in the next you know couple of years or so? Because he getting he up there. The, he wants the baby, but I think the age difference in explaining that to you know parents and my kid. Because yeah, he's only gonna make it through the teenage years, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all some assholes. So, <laughs> you, we're the assholes, but you sleep with the dude for a cat. <laughs> I, I think you love him, Loki. I do. I do care for him. I think there's a sense of me caring for him. But our relationship started as a business transaction, right? So 
You can't say it, business. Damn, you got an LLC for that? Because <laughs> at first when you said it, it sounded like you were saying you're an escort. Not you put uh, LLC on your vagina. You said, I did. I look. This is the first and only time that it happened, and I just happened to get lucky. So, kudos to me. Do you that have, is crazy. Do you lucky. put this under an LLC though? Fuck no. Oh, okay. Just, I'll probably okay. get him to help me open up a business or something. Like when I get there. I what type of business are you trying to get? Car. You need to be trying to get on that wheel. This nigga is 64. <laughs> <laughs> for you, real. I don't know where the bucket is, but he's about you to tell, kick that bitch. Can you tell me you, uh, you want a Can you tell me you want a PS5 and, and slide it <laughs> and slide it to us? No. Wow, I don't play you, you can't get us nothing. Get us a PS5. Man, I love y'all though. Love the podcast. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Get us a PS5. Get us a PS5 and we have features. Just be like, baby, the new Madden came out and the new 2K. Yeah. Look, I, I got, look, I got y'all. Keep listening. All right. Y'all have a good one. Yeah, you too. You too. You too. Right. Should have found out what city they in. I know. <laughs> Every lube is bought up in that moment. <laughs> Every time you go to a store by them, where the fuck is all the lube? Have you heard of the, the Human Meat Project? What is the Human Meat Project? All right, play this clip right here. Bam. There is a website called the Human Meat Project that is legally online. And this website, well as per their statements, are legally selling human meat. This is their motto. One body can feed up to 40 people. They give you the choice to donate yourself to feed 40 people. What can you donate? Well, pretty much your whole body, including organs. And if you don't want to donate yourself, you can pick certain body parts and or certain organs. For example, one kidney or half a lung. You can choose as many or as few organs as you wish. There is an end date for donors. Donors can choose a date they want to be harvested. This is messed up. Who can donate? Any healthy living human can donate their body for consumption regardless of age. Also apparently, Every human donor will be medically evaluated to avoid the spread of contagious diseases. So, so you guys can chop me up in pieces and, and feed me to the poor, but you don't want any of them to get sick. <laughs> Check out what they got in store at the moment. We got a 37-year-old male, white, from Netherlands. He's donating <laughs> his wrist. Upper arm from a 40. All right, bro. <laughs> what the <Damn>. fuck? <laughs> what you donating? <laughs> nothing. I ain't giving them niggas nothing. The, the crazy thing about it is, like, they talking about they got to get tested. Shit like yeah, that. You, go, you don't want no bad meat out there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Eating bad a meat. person and catch AIDS. <laughs> it's yeah. so crazy. Now, nah, that'd be insane. Yeah. Bro. Hold on. I don't want nobody to panic, but. There's a body with syphilis I got. <laughs> Don't fucking panic. It's only eh, a couple people only. Um, no, but you know what I was thinking was real strong the other day, and I'm just like, damn, that was a strong ass person. Is is Ruby Bridges? Because the first time I would have heard Coon, they would have turned around, and went back to my own school. Like the fuck? <laughs> just in class by herself. <laughs> I'd have been questioning every day, like, what point y'all proving by me and this yeah. bitch by myself? And then when everybody get here, it's a bunch of white people calling me monkey and shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Why me? Yeah. <laughs> Why me? Yeah. Though, even though seeing those pictures back in the day, it's like. Grown ass men, Bro, Jerry yeah. Jones and shit. <laughs> Jerry Jones, <laughs> that nigga was there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nigga Jerry Jones was there. <laughs> nigga Jerry Jones talking about. I was just speculating, like nigga, this sound, why your mouth look like this? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no one a tongue to the top of that, uh, to the roof of the mouth. What yeah. he was saying? <laughs> How many n words you got in your arsenal? That's not nigga. <laughs> Jerry Jones. I mean, no. he probably living a life because you got to think he was racist back then. And now he actually own niggas. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, you just think about he really the NFL owners are like legit. Sl- they buying niggas, bro. Yeah, but them niggas making millions of dollars. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> they making they making bank. What percentage is that that the owners getting back? I think uh, 
No, the NBA is like 50-50. I think that NFL might be like 60-40 type of shit. Gotta be. NFL is like... Yeah. NFL can shut anybody out. Yeah. <laughs> and NBA is definitely player ran. Damn. Damn near. Yeah, yeah, it's really player ran. It's like a player like Odell would have been a max contract player yeah. right away. Exactly. <laughs> but they, now you're a receiver. You're like the Lamar position. situation. Yeah. Like they can... It's 30... People don't realize it's... Everybody looks at, like, the commissioner and the owners as, like, this separate thing. Like, they're mm-hmm. together. First of all, Roger Goodell is just a face. Yeah. There's other people above him. Mm-hmm. And then the 32 owners are, like, the board. Yeah. Like, they vote on stuff. They have, like, all the power. So, if they say, like, damn, like, Lamar Jackson situation is just like, bro, you want all this guaranteed money? All I got to do is call 31 of my – these are probably my friends mm-hmm. and be like, hey – Nobody offer him because y'all going to fuck up the NFL y'all offer him. Yeah. Like, y'all don't think we could close you out? They got so much power, bro. <laughs> NBA, that shit would have been over. <laughs> yeah. It would have been protest of the game. Mm-hmm. Remember that black dude, ain't uh, Neil? Jonathan Isaac? It was a black dude yeah, yeah, when yeah, it was yeah. in the bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he haven't played a game since. Yeah, he played injured. one and got injured again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Nigga, ACL racist. He don't uh, even <laughs> fuck with you. <laughs> Did you see um, Chloe Bailey was trending because of the, the sex scene with uh, Damson? In the, in the, I don't even know what the series called, Swarm or something Yeah, like I think it's Swarm. That's a very popular series right now. Is it? Yeah, everybody's been talking I've about it. I've just that. heard about it because that, that That's scene. probably why, though. I remember she was talking about it and saying that um, how comfortable um, he, made he made her feel. And there was like a balloon between it. Yeah. But sometimes I just wonder, like, there's some sex scenes that I wonder, like, does it add any context to... Um, the, sh- the movie or the overall show yeah to and, you and you're you're in marketing though no it's, no yeah I'm, I'm in i'm in storytelling too i would say no i'm saying you see it from like you were like why is this here right yeah you, and you can kind of understand the whole that doesn't i understand why it's there i no, just no, saying, I and, understand and i'm just saying the angles there's like that it's not other for way. you it's for them dumbass and <laughs> scrolled up like what the fuck yeah and they in this episode six now as a director I yeah. force you to watch my first five episodes because I know why your horny ass here yeah but the thing too is like I was wondering why, why it had to be her either because <laughs> she was in doggy so her, her face didn't really have to show oh so. you saying they could have had a stunt double yeah. <laughs> just had a stunt to get her back go out <laughs> so damn she could actually hit some shit <laughs> let's be realistic here because you know you know like um. A lot of like popular lead actress, you don't, you hardly see them. Um, in the early days, in the early days, yeah, like in the early days, you see it. But like, I'm trying to think of an art uh, a act, actress you would never see nude oh. in a sense. But it's always been like I mean, now, Halle Berry. Halle Berry was nude back yeah, then. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. when when they was first on, that's how you know someone's a like not a rookie, but like yeah. I think she is. This is her first like stream of like string of uh, acting. Yeah, stuff. but she won't show her. Yeah, her front though. I feel like if somebody, I feel like if you're an actress, yeah. it's easier because that's you're always going to be in different roles mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But if you do something else, which Chloe sings, yeah. it's like different. Like, oh, I show my titties here, and now like I'm singing. It's that's all, all people but it's kind of weird because for guys, I feel like um, a guy you're always showing. Like, guys are shirtless regardless sometimes, right? right? Yeah, it's not like they're showing their dick on camera, you yeah. know. But girls, just like you're showing. Sometimes they're showing their titties. Their bare ass and stuff like that, and yeah. that's just not like a a normal thing. You don't go out and just see a random. A girl go to a beach and you just see a girl's titties, right? But you go to a beach, you see a dude with a shirt off and shit like that. So it's always <laughs> it's always interesting. <laughs> you do <laughs> you do see people with their shirts? Type off. of beach you at? <laughs> with a dude's shirt off? Yeah. You probably go to those beach where dudes are wearing uh t shirts in the water and shit <laughs> <laughs> with speedos on. <laughs> my t shirt and my panties. Yeah, on. but I guess it's good marketing because they uh, walk around the house lighting incense and shit <laughs> with a long ass t shirt. But I was like, I guess it's good marketing though because like everybody's talking about. It. I never heard of the series until. That scene was and why she what she was trending. It's great marketing. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's some fucking peons out here that's about to watch the, <laughs> yeah. the series just off that. I think that the same thing happened with. Uh, I've never seen Power before, but just because of Twitter, I feel like I watched Power. Yeah, and it was the scene with um, Lala Anthony. Yeah, and I, when that happened, I was like, I didn't know what happened. I just saw her titties on, on on Twitter. Yeah. I've seen a lot of titties before. <laughs> Those, what? It's so grand. It's so <laughs> Carmelo listening to this like why I uh, He don't really care, bro. Yeah, I don't think he cares. I think it's. I don't know. That's a. That's the thing in acting. Uh, we might do. You know, you never know. We might be in some acting roles in, uh, in the nah. future. But it'd be. I don't know. <laughs> it'd be strange to do that, like to do a sex scene or 
or I don't know. Even kissing might be kind of like strange for me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Because <laughs> if the person is like really attractive, the person. Yeah, the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who else you go kiss? A mannequin? <laughs> A man again? <laughs> I think it's I think it's trying to be so politically correct. <laughs> I think it's talking about if it's him, he, she, they, them. I ain't gonna lie, I'm for like everybody, him, she, they, they, them, but I'm not kissing a they them though. Okay. I just you know you know some people actually get offended. You're not kissing a what? Of someone that's they them. <laughs> but someone can still be a girl. Hey. <laughs> So you wouldn't kiss like so? What does it say? Like you know, this comedic movie and stuff like that. It's like a peck in the cheek for a guy. Would you do it if they said what? If there's like a scene in the movie and you're an actor, and they asked me to, it's a comedic movie, and you know, they're like, "Oh, you actually got to kiss a dude on the cheek." No, that's not. I didn't grow up like that. What do you mean? Like I never kissed a guy. (laughs) (laughs) I don't think I I have either. No, some niggas. I like I watch niggas growing up. I watch niggas kiss their dad right in their mouth. But it's (laughs) for them. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, That's yeah. how they grew up. Uh-huh. And, like, they may be comfortable. I've seen in different cultures people, like, kiss each other's cheeks, grow man. Yeah, yeah. It's just a cultural thing or it's, like, how you grew up. It's n- no offense. I think some people take offense when someone says they wouldn't do that. Like, if they, I think, yeah. they'd be like, oh, I wouldn't. Like, culturally, like, I'm not kissing another guy on the cheek. And it's just like, oh, no, I ain't got no problem with them niggas doing it. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got no problem with being in the same room. Like, go ahead. Do yeah. y'all. But to say, like, hey, I don't want to do that. I don't feel comfortable doing yeah, that. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Just a comfortability. You see uh, people getting on um, on Sierra for what she was wearing. at. Um, they hate him, bro. <laughs> they really hate Russ and Sierra. It's crazy. <laughs> Mr. Unlimited. Yeah. I think she and she wasn't, like, the only one dressed up like that. Because I think with for that event they were at, that might have been, like, the trend. Yeah. And she was, like, not the only one dressed like that either. Yeah, it's just, like, I mean, I don't know why... It just, I know we in this realm now where we actually get paid to talk about people, yeah. but I would never take it that far to, unless someone has something like egregious on. Yeah. Like when Russell Westbrook had on like the the suit with the shorts on and shit like That's that. That's not even that, that was, bad. No, nah, it's not bad. Yeah. It was just the fact that uh, Nina yeah. Westbrook, his wife, had the same, had a, had the same <laughs> yeah, suit yeah, on. Yeah. So like, but you know, it's, it's fashion. It's fashion, yeah. You know, and it's just like, we out of touch with it. So I just like feel like the people that, can't afford to dress like that mm-hmm. are always the first person to. Yeah, I can't and afford and to dress like West West West. I don't know how much in pants. Ten thousand dollar pants yeah, you got on. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm gonna say I don't want to wear them. Yeah, I ain't got access to it. I think yeah. <laughs> I think when, as the more famous you get, and the more money you get, the more like risk, and the more you kind of want to stand out with yeah. with items. I mean, I it's it's. I mean, that's us now. Yeah. Now that like the more and more the podcast grows, my biggest fear is a nigga be like. On the podcast, hey, I got that jacket too. Okay, burnt. <laughs> Nigga, I burnt it. I ain't wearing it no more. You look broke. Um, <laughs> how you get this jacket, nigga? <laughs> but no, but it's just like, not not to be mean, but it's just like, it's just real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, your your biggest fear, I mean, the more money you get, is like, damn, you can't even, know, you want to be able to afford not to look like nobody. If some people, some people don't care. I mean, Adam Sandler wears a, a basketball shorts and a white yeah. tee. I mean, don't nobody dress like that. I mean, he competing with a couple third graders, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> it look like he uh, somebody late to picking him yeah. up from after school basketball. I fuck with Adam Sandler. It's just nah, very, he a goat. Yeah, he's just very nonchalant style. You know, J Cole like that too. J Cole's like that. He wears some beat up shoes and yeah. stuff, and he made over a hundred million dollars. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I think with the the Sierra thing, yeah, it's just people trying to police what people wear. And I think it has to do with they feel like Russ might not be the strong, manly man to control your woman and what she wears. Yeah, and this Russell, and that. the thing about it um, is I do the same thing. Like I see somebody wearing stuff, but I can check myself, though. Yeah. I can see a celebrity wearing stuff and be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And then be like. You ain't got as much money in this. Shut <laughs> exactly. the fuck up. <laughs> like, you or know? or if I just think it's bad, I just I won't I won't make a big deal. Of it. I usually if I don't like something, it's really internalized. You know, mm-hmm. I say to my head or like, oh, that's or just even talking to you, like I already like that, but never that deep where it's like she shouldn't be with a man like Cause Russ what, because because what does that show? That shows insecurity. Yeah, you insecure about something. It's just like the people that um talk about like uh that are homophobic. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? They'd be mm-hmm. like, they get online like, man, get this gay shit off my timeline. Yeah. Right then and there, my first thought is, you're gay. <laughs> yeah. I think you're gay. Uh-huh. Because it triggered you so fucking bad. Yeah. Either you're gay or something, or someone that's gay did something to you that you hate and you despise gay people. Yeah. Because it's something so fucking bad that you typed. You typed. <laughs> You typed on a post that the person probably won't even see. Yeah, they got you. You're either gay or or people be getting people even get be getting mad. I think we talked about this when they, you know, oh, why are they showing two dudes kissing on TV? I'm like, and they, right? <laughs> like they show two girl. They tell a guy and a girl kissing all the time, and there are kids who feel like that. You know, that they are uh, gay or you know, uh, lesbian, whatever. Yeah, and. Sometimes you need to see there's different people in this world. That's because the homophobic people. Yeah. If you yeah. mad, your son saw two dudes kissing on TV. Now he kissing his best friend. He was already gay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was already gay. Yeah. And you got on hard too, so you gay too. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Like, bro. <laughs> like, it's okay. Like, you going like, to live. People need to let people live their lives. Bro, you going to live your life in secrecy. It's because like, oh, our kids are watching. You know what the fuck we watched when we were kids? And it was hard to find. Right. <laughs> we went searching for that shit. Two girls, one cup. I yeah. literally watch a girl shit on another. The girl, yeah. <laughs> I used to watch those things in school when they were cutting people's head off, the little yeah. gory shit. Yeah, I used to watch that all the time. Yeah, I'm like, we watch some fucked up shit. Come on, man. <laughs> y'all dudes and that's that, with dial up. Y'all need to stop that homophobic shit. <laughs> like literally, because y'all are the same dudes that be at home in your boxers talking about some Tupac, Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas, y'all need to stop that shit. Stop being homophobic, man. Go live your life. Live your life. Um, hey, hey. Damn. Oh, that's that brings uh, me to another discussion. I hate people that don't self evaluate themselves. In, in what way? And like, okay, the biggest one is like, do I talk too much? Mm-hmm. And can I control it? Me, if I get on a spiral, I start talking too much. Yeah. But right after that conversation, I remember <laughs> these two people I was talking to. I was talking too much. Next time I see them, I'm gonna let them talk. I'm not going to talk as much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But to constantly go to, like, a person and then you, like, you feel like you can't even get away from them because they talking so fucking much. Like, God damn. Like, nobody. And it's funny because nobody probably will ever tell them that. The self-evaluation process, like, over everything is like, bruh. There's there's so many people in the world that won't criticize themselves. Mm -hmm. And if they criticize themselves, like, constructively, they could be better in life. Like, I think I think that's, like. One thing that I learned, especially in this like entrepreneurship journey that kind of helped me was like, there was, <laughs> there was times where it's like, damn, I'm not making enough money and not making this. And I'm like, damn, I'm just lazy. Lazy. Like, I'm just being lazy. I'm making excuses for myself and shit like that. It's like, sometimes you got to like literally be so self-aware. It's like, nah, I was tripping in that situation. Especially now. I got to I gotta file my taxes. Yeah. I know I owe the government. Them niggas not getting any money. I can tell you <laughs> that. Don't say that right now. Hey. No, fuck hey. that shit. Fuck them niggas. Y'all not getting that shit. <laughs> Delay that shit. They goes, Mr. Johnson, in episode 90, you said, we aren't getting shit. I be like, hey, Mike got me in a 360. I ain't, ain't touched shit since. <laughs> I never understood taxes. Like, why I got to pay you for making money? <laughs> no, the craziest part, yeah. what Mike was saying is like, they know how much you owe them and they won't tell you. <laughs> or they know how much you're supposed to get back and they won't tell you. They're like, huh. like, oh, so I owe y'all $10? Nope. Uh, 15 Nope. Ah, 25 Nope, jail. Like, what? Like, damn. <laughs> y'all niggas playing a guessing game? <laughs> These niggas want everybody to file their taxes and shit. <laughs> but JJ got off on them fucking PPP loans and y'all niggas still ain't yeah. touching them on 52nd Street right next to the fucking Frickin', store. Um, what's his name? Baby Blue from, um, was it Baby Blue? Something like that. From uh, Pretty Ricky? Yeah. One of them. <laughs> a nigga did like eight months in jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For 20 mil? Like, he good. 20 mil? What, the, what do you think was the one of the best, what's your best R&B group? In our, two, in our, our generation, like Boys to Men. No, no, our generation. So after that, after Boys to Men, shit, it wasn't that many. All right, so it's like Pretty Ricky. There was B twelve, B two K twelve, B twelve, B five, B five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about D twelve. <laughs> <laughs> These chicks don't even they know the name of my brother. B five was like trying to short live too. I, I only one song from the All I, I Knew, and they stole that song. Oh, mindless behavior. 
That's what that's old. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Mindless behavior is not. It's, it's like the same thing as B five. That's old. Why? Why can't Boys to Men was around then too? Now Boys to Men was like in the nineties though. But, uh, mindless behavior was like in the two thousands, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, but like mid two thousands. Mid two thousands. I remember Bo- being Boys to Men was still out. Where is Mister Vi? I got a meter. Oh damn! Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Yeah. I was thinking of somebody else. I was thinking about like Bobby Brown and shit. No, no. <laughs> Miles Behavior. Who else was there? Pretty Ricky was one. They were tough. Bro, I don't no fucking R&B. Let's look up R&B groups. They, I just named like five. You named like two. Man. Day 26. Mm. Remember them? That was my group. I'm making the band when, when Pete Diddy kept ruining everybody's career. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy D. Kane and everybody. That nigga a leech. No, I'm just playing. Nah. Shout out Diddy, man. No, shout, shout out Revolt. Yes, yeah, shout out Revolt. <laughs> <laughs> shout out that nigga Diddy. Uh, Look. All right, go ahead. Boys Cement, Jagged Edge, uh-huh. Tough, AZ Yet. I don't really remember one song from them. <laughs> Who? As Yet. Let me see. As Yet. I don't know. They who had that fucking um, and I swear, I think that's him. By the moon and the star. That one, I think so. I think they're from Philly or some shit. <laughs> one, one twelve. B two K. Yeah, B two K. Pretty Rick. Destiny Child is the best. Destiny Child, you think so? Hell yeah. They're pretty fire. Cause nobody looked better than Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, pretty Ricky was had some some slaps. You know, Pretty Ricky definitely has some slaps. <laughs> As Pretty a Ricky, group, they were on the run. Yeah, they definitely ran the game for a little bit. Yeah, they went crazy. And then Pleasure P even got like a solo yeah, career yeah. after that. I he, did you run? He got that. Dude. Uh, <laughs> that <laughs> My boyfriend. Uh, he was tough. That nigga was tough. Tough, tough, tough. tough, tough. But uh, enough about them niggas. Uh, <laughs> you see the um, Adam 22 stuff that's going on? No, no, no. What happened? So Adam 22, some people don't know. I think that a lot of our audience knows No Jumper. <laughs> But um, basically, everybody's all the really, really, really like good talent is kind of leaving uh, no jumper because I guess Adam said something to Lush, which is one of the co-hosts on the show. And then Lush went and told us see uh, the discord that Adam was trying to go a different direction. Adam, you know, started off in like the hip hop culture and stuff like that. And now he's starting to go more political debatey type of type of style of content. He had like a an ex neo-Nazi on the um on the podcast, he used to be uh, like crazy Nazi, and now he's a reformed. Uh, like he's he's not racist. I feel like anymore. that's something that you can't take back. You can't you can't, un, you can't be unracist. Hell no! Nah. Yeah. I feel like that's like that's embedded in you. Yeah, like, but I think uh, it's like it just <laughs> ma- like bro, can you be friends with somebody? Like somebody like came up to you, you've been friends with him for like yeah. you know a year and shit. Be like, hey, bro, I got something to discuss from my past, like. You know, I used to make monkey noises at the little black boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, no, yeah. And he been a good guy to you. What, mm-hmm. What's your next move? Ah, oh, damn. That's tough. Yeah. He done, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he done. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah, I don't do that no more, though. Yeah. Like, what made you stop doing it? <laughs> but the thing is, I appreciate it. Not to get off topic. But yeah, go ahead. The thing is, I appreciate. The only thing I appreciate about somebody that's racist is that they racist up front? Yeah. Like I rather like let's get it cracking. Like call me, <laughs> call me a coon, a monkey. <laughs> yeah, something. Something. Let's get it cracking right away. Let me know where you stand. Don't yeah. be asking me if I can dunk. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? Just call me a nigga. Like, fuck. <laughs> can you dunk? <laughs> you look like you can dunk. I wonder why. <laughs> but yeah, back to the uh, Adam Twenty Two uh, situation. Basically, he, I think he just changed the, tra- tra- the trajectory of. The podcast, which is kind of weird because, you know, with Adam, he started with the BMX scene and now he kind of what really made him popular was the the hip hop interviews. Right. He was interviewing a lot of local like underground rappers, a lot of street rappers and shit like that. And a lot of those names came in because of the black people that had at No Jumper. Mm. So now it just seems like because he didn't want to like when he had that neo Nazi on, I think he called uh, Van Layton to. See if he wanted to hop on that podcast, and he was going to pay him. And Van was like, "Nah, he's not going to get on a podcast with them." And I don't think I think what he's trying to say is like I don't think he thought AD and T Rel or anybody was like articulate enough to to debate somebody uh, in an articulate way, which was worth the undertones I was getting. Uh, and he, they wanted to switch around and stuff like that, but I don't know. And then he fires somebody on camera, and it's just weird. I think yeah, that was I, weird as fuck. I think with Adam, he fired somebody on camera. Yeah, that's insanely weird, bro. I just think, especially like in the content creating space, especially when you people call each other fr- friends and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're really friends. Like 
at the end of the day. Some people are just like really just business and it's just content at the end of the day. Yeah, they just, I mean. But I think it, people should be upfront with that. Like, hey, bro, this is just business. Like, we're cool and shit like that. But at any point, like, it's going to get business. And, like, I think, like, with me and you, for instance, like, we're really friends, right? We've known each other for 10 years and shit like that. So all the other business shit is just like everything 50-50, right? Yeah. That's it. We're just like, we're, they make it very simple. No matter who's doing more work one month or who's doing less work the other month, it's like, it's 50-50 because we friends and shit like that. Nigga, what you trying to say? <laughs> 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 Nigga, I need my simple <laughs> set. <laughs> <laughs> when I was filling out, you know, I, I, when I was filling out the LLC papers and uh-huh. shit like that, and it said... You know, I filled out both of our... Yeah, that's, that's probably my first time not trusting you in my life. <laughs> I filled out I both went, our percentages I went right and shit. to the percentage page. That bitch said 49.9. What the fuck? <laughs> I was like, damn, I could put like 70% of this shit. Put me in a 360. <laughs> 99% to me. Talking about why? Why am I should have said if I don't talk, I die? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but people in the content space... I don't think a lot of these niggas are friends. And they're all just doing... They're just putting random people in... In the same room and just say, hey, gel together. And shit that's like what that. I think now. Sometimes it works, but a lot of the times when money gets started to get involved, that's when shit goes south. I just I just don't get it. I yeah. just don't get how niggas can get weird. You, you, I think what it comes from is like they don't want to see each other win. Exactly. That's what it really comes from. If you don't want to see somebody win, then money is definitely the and, thing that will bring it and, out. And that's what it was, I think. AD and them, they got their own, like, streaming stuff and, like, the yeah, own clip that, channel. Yeah. And it's doing very well. And then I think Adam was getting to a point where he was like, oh, they bringing all that content to their platform. But when they're on my platform, they're not talking as much or I don't feel like they're they're um, performing that well and stuff like that. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It's one of those things just, like, it's it's one of, it's one a tough job to be a business, like, owner and try to, and that try is to curate. Tough. I, I kind of see. And try to curate talent. I don't see where Adam is coming from as far as, like, how he handled it. Yeah. But in, like, that aspect, it's just like, okay, you have another podcast that's coming out soon. Yeah. But it's about, like, the creative world and the creative. It would kind of be, it would be like me. I got a podcast that come out soon, but it's about sports. Mm-hmm. But if either one of us like went to like do a comedy podcast, yeah, and like I'm looking at the jokes, like damn, this nigga Mister Funny over here, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but over here this nigga like he was quiet for two whole minutes, yeah. and like you actually just, said that to me, but when I, I appeared on uh, somebody else's podcast, oh yeah, let me tell you something, this nigga Mike <laughs> went on another podcast. First of all, he went on for like the first hour. Yeah, I was like there for like 15 minutes. Then all of a sudden, this nigga pop on the camera. <laughs> And become the host and start saying, <laughs> like, this nigga got the whole crowd laughing. Like, nigga, the fuck? <laughs> nigga, that's a thousand dollar joke over here. You wasting that over there? A, a viral video. <laughs> nah, sh- shout out to their podcast. Yeah, don't, do, don't do that shit no more, though. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that shit no more, man. Or I'm going to have to uh, report that podcast, man. <laughs> get, you, get y'all shit shut down. Sh- shout out yeah. to Dre, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, get man. your shit shut down, though, Dre. Yeah. I play, man, shout out to Dropout Athletics. <laughs> this is a random shout out. Nah, man, they've been motivating me, man. Yeah, but I've been in the gym today, gym, man. Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? If any you niggas want to come get it, pause. Let's <laughs> fight, though. <laughs> Talking about fighting, I got to reiterate that. <laughs> Our supporters be mad horny for no reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no more eggplant emoji. You send an eggplant emoji, you won't see the podcast no more. All right? Yeah. Take that eggplant emoji out with your uncle. First good person shit. to show you it. Anyway, this has been a, a good podcast, man. New studio, new beginnings. Damn, we, we probably gave y'all some extra content. Hopefully, we can take some of this and put you put it on Patreon just to expose the broke niggas for another week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It's crazy. I found a dollar on the ground. That's how broke these <laughs> niggas is. <laughs> I found it on the ground. Like, you can go find a dollar on the ground if you go search for it. All the people that are in the Patreon, appreciate y'all, man. Man, y'all the goats, man. Yeah. Hope y'all hearing this, man. Have a good day. If you're in the Patreon, it don't matter if you're an audio listener or not. Patreon, y'all them boys. YouTube, y'all them boys. Audio, y'all them boys. Everybody them boys crashing podcasts. We coming together. We good. What? What about the Discord people? Let me see your phone real quick. What you need I my phone? I sent you something. Oh, okay. And then you try to grab my phone. Fuck out of here. What's this? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, Go ahead. Oh, yeah. This has been episode 90. In 90. New spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're about to play our, our, our friend, Aki, the one that's been in the background talking. We're about to play a song real quick. Also. And we, and we out. Oh, no, quick advice. Go ahead. Uh, audio listeners, 
Uh, make sure to get rid of the ads. Make sure you stop using the same fucking towel that you wash your balls with to wash your face. That's why you keep breaking out and acting. You nasty ass niggas, man. Play the song, man. Yeah, go ahead. You know who the fuck it we got, is, we got bitch. Milwaukee I ain't gotta too. say my name. Yeah. Let's fucking go. It's key, bitch. I be on the road doing shit incidental. Not finna buy a car, I can jug out the rental. Tell you we can link when I know I'ma spin you. Baby, don't think you can hit me when the rent do. Got a new AR when I shoot, I hear a pew The man pulled out of the All I heard was doo doo. TT wants some more, now I gotta hit the venue. It's your favorite DJ, favorite DJ. Um, shout out, you was just listening to 1075 Crash Dummies Podcast. You bitch ass niggas, man. <laughs> T Pain, and we're out. Yeah, hey, hey, your best friend fucks your sister. <laughs>